As someone who likes both lasers and Austin Powers, this clip definitely got my attention. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, it's not actually that practical to attach a laser to a shark. Who would have guessed it? But let's find out why. So, to start off with, let's try and understand why Dr. Evil, or perhaps even you, might want to attach a laser to a shark in the first place. Well, one reason might be to help assist the shark, say, in trying to locate its target, or perhaps even range finding. However, sharks are amazing and well-adapted creatures. They simply don't need laser guidance. Now, let's assume we're dealing with something akin to a great white or a tiger shark, and not something like the small but terrifying cookie cutter, a shark that takes cookie-sized bites out of its prey without killing. That perhaps leaves us with one obvious use, as a weapon. Well, if it's weaponized laser sharks that you want, the first question might be, could you actually kill someone with a laser? The answer is yes. With enough power, you could simply just fry or vaporize someone, but that would definitely be a waste of energy. The most efficient way to kill, as it turns out, is to simply fire the laser through the eye and melt slash burn the brain. So, whilst this would take less energy, how much would be required? Well, according to the physicist James Kakalios in his book The Physics of Superheroes, you would need a one kilowatt laser beam. That's equivalent to one million of these guys, or a laser cutter like this. But when dealing with a shark laser, I don't really agree with those numbers. One, you would need to tie the person down and hold them still, as it would not be quick. And two, you're also assuming the beam is perfectly focused. This isn't very practical because many sharks, such as great whites, can't stop swimming because if they stop, they'll stop breathing. Well, I went looking for industrial laser cutters and I found a few. This one, for example, has a laser head that weighs 1.4 tonnes, with a total weight of 18 tonnes. If you're wondering, that's about 18 times bigger than a large great white. This is also ignoring power supply, which would weigh even more. Lasers are extremely inefficient and require huge energy input compared to their output. And if you think that there's some way around this, it gets even worse. Laser cutters like this one work at extremely short ranges, right up against their target. I don't think I need to explain why, if the shark was that close, it would not need a laser. You also can't do it by strapping these guys together. Unfortunately, you would need 10 million of them. Good luck strapping that many to a shark, even a whale shark. And if you thought that was it, things get even worse. Water is very good at absorbing heat and some visible light, hence why icebergs and oceans look blue. So we would need to be very careful with choosing the color of our laser. The best wavelength would be about 520 nanometers. This is a problem in and of itself. Lasers become inherently more inefficient the bluer the wavelength gets. So our already immense power supply just got more immense -er 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 -er. Yeah. Plus, the ocean water would scatter a fair bit of the light, meaning we would need even more power just to have a decent range. So. Could you still use it as a weapon? Maybe. Your best bet would be to try and blind your victim. I mean, ignoring the fact that if you had multiple laser-equipped sharks swimming around, they might blind each other. You still might be able to do it. Your best bet would be to use an ultraviolet or infrared laser. Since we can't see those wavelengths, we don't really have a blink response to them. In other words, you'd be blind before you even knew you looked at the beam. But remember what I was saying just a moment ago? 
you would need a laser that was close to 520 nanometers, just to avoid it being absorbed by the water. So, once again, our laser requires a ridiculous amount of power. Maybe this time, you could save some weight by using a small nuclear reactor as your battery. So, unfortunately, Dr. Evil is going to have to look for other options. What do we have? Sea bass. Right. They are mutated sea bass. Really? Are they ill-tempered? Absolutely. Well, that's a start. Sorry to be a dream crusher. Remember, I'm almost- Dr. Evil! I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. And until next time, be like a proton. Stay positive. <laughs>